in the light of the newcomer there's been a debate on how many people can now actually start up a private company that is it that one person cannot be a director in so many public companies or as many public companies that that he or she uh, decides to be a director in and there's also this um, belief that lawyers are not um, so much needed when it comes to the compliance or the registration or incorporation of a limited liability company in the light or in the face of the new karma. Now on this episode I'm going to be clarifying what the old karma was like concerning the things and what the new karma now states. When it comes to setting up a private limited liability company, the law requires that a minimum of two people should stand in as a director and those two people must be an adult. Now, children or minor were not allowed to be a director in a private limited liability company, but they could be a shareholder in a limited liability company. However, when it comes to business name and style, your child or minor or guy or, um, or world can actually be a proprietor or one of one of um, a minor proprietor in your business name. Now the newcomer states that you no longer need two adults to set up a private limited liability company because some people are mixing it up. We're not talking about a public limited liability company. We're talking about a private limited liability company. So you no longer need to start looking for a second director or a second adult to come um, join hands with you to set up your private limited liability company. If you want to start a private limited liability company, you alone as an adult, you are enough to start your private limited liability company just as it's obtainable under the newcomer. Now the second aspect is the um, statement of compliance. In the old camera we had what is called statutory declaration of compliance where a lawyer looks at your, um, your CAC documents and states that oh, stamps it, signs it, puts the MBA seal, the lawyer seal to say he or she has complied. That company has complied with all the requirements of the law. Now that has been dispensed with, not 100% dispensed with. The law provides that either you or your agent can actually do a statement of compliance in place of statutory declaration of compliance that you have complied with everything. Now when the law says either you or your agent, your lawyer can actually also be your agent because most of the time lawyers are the ones that actually um, incorporate companies for the client. So you can either state it or your lawyer can state it. Now the law now says that it's not compulsory that when you do not use a lawyer you go and meet a lawyer or you go to a notary public bill because doing registration does a column for you to either use a lawyer or you pay a certain amount for that document to be notarized. You take it to the court for notarization before you can upload it on the CSE site. So lawyers duties are not completely dispensed with under the new comma, you can actually, your lawyer can do a statement of compliance for you instead of the compulsory statutory declaration of compliance. Now, under the, um, under the old comma, um, um, a com a, somebody can be, a person can be a director in as, in as many public companies as he chooses to to be a director in broad under the newcomer you can only be a director in maximum of five public limited liabilities at a time so you cannot whether you are the part of the board or whether you're also the person that sets up the company be a director in more than five public limited liability companies at a row now the newcomer also makes provision for insolvent business or businesses not insolvent now businesses that are um, going through stress that are going, that are under the stress that are at the point of liquidation that are at the point of breaking down under the old camera the procedures in which you can get that company to be insolvent or liquidated and all of that but under the new camera and that is where business uh, uh, business recovery institute association of nigeria actually um, um comes into play that is prepan that um for those that are members of prepan um business Reco um, um, recovery and insolvency practitioners association of nigeria the purpose is actually to help dying businesses businesses 
that are that are at the point of um, closing up, at the point of shutting up, at the point of going insolvent, the major duty is to it's to help the business recover using a principle of what we call um, using a strategy that is called restructuring or repositioning the business. So that is what also the newcomer has provided for that. Instead of going ahead to dissolve a company, the first thing that should be done is to try to see how that that uh, um, company can recoup, how that company can come back to life. All right, so that's all I'm going to be taking on this section, on this um, episode, rather. Please watch out for um, another episode on changes in the new karma 2020 and doing business in Nigeria, where I'm going to be talking about other aspects of